Hi, my name is Bill Raymond, and welcome to this video quick tour on the new version of Microsoft Project 2010. In this quick tour, we're going to be looking at the new Fluent UI. Uh, it's called many things. You'll hear it called the tabbed user interface, the Fluent user interface, the ribbon. But essentially, what we're going to be talking about are essentially the new ways to navigate around Microsoft Project 2010. Right now I have the new version of Microsoft Project 2010 open. And what you can see here is that the user interface looks very different. There is a whole lot to cover in the user interface, so I'm not going to cover everything. But the key things that I'm going to draw your attention to right now are these new tabs at the top of the screen. This is what we refer to as the Fluent UI, the tab user interface. Essentially it allows us to get around uh, and do more common tasks quickly. So in the past, if you've used Microsoft Project, you'd be seeing the file menu, the tools menu, things like that. Notice there's no tools tab up at the top. So essentially the way this is designed is to help you in organizing and running your project based on a set of common scenarios. So for example, if I were in Microsoft Project in the past and I wanted to put a new summary task with some subtasks here, I'd press the insert key or right click and choose insert and I'd say uh, new summary task and then I might insert another task and I would say, um, you know, here's the task, another task. And then I go ahead and select these and I would indent them. That's the normal steps that I'd normally be taking. I'm going to just go ahead and undo all of those and take a look at how the new tab user interface helps us. The Fluent UI not only allows us to do the basic things that we're familiar with, such as changing fonts and doing indents and outdents, setting the percent completes, but it also provides us some, with some quick actions. So for example, you'll see this insert area here, and if I click summary, notice what happens down here. I now have the ability to enter a new summary task. So I can just go in and type my new summary task. Okay, and then what I can also do is just click insert new task, task one, task two. So I clicked these button, this button down here and it affected uh, the, the Gantt chart down below. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and delete that. One of the other things that you'll notice here uh, on this screen is I'll be able to do things like insert milestones and when you're connected to the project server, insert a deliverable. There's many other features here, uh, but we'll talk about more of these in, in more detail in future uh, presentations. You'll notice that the first tab here is task. This is probably where you'll be spending most of your time. This is where I can go to my Gantt chart views. But if I click up here on the resource tab, now you'll actually see that I can go into the resource pool. Um, I can assign resources to the task. Maybe even add others. So you'll see the user interface generally hasn't changed a whole lot in terms of adding resources to tasks with the general uh, tabbed interface. Now there's another feature here called the Team Planner which really changes how you can work with resources, but I'm actually going to save that for another time. There's another new tab here called the Project tab. You'll see here that I can insert a sub-project. I could also look at the project information. So here we have all the project information that we can enter on this project. One of the other things that you might want to do that's slightly different in this new interface is I might want to show task level zero. You can see here I have task level zero turned on, but if I went ahead and just created a brand new project and just entered some tasks, Notice that it's starting at task level one. Now, if you've taken any Microsoft Project training in the past, you know that we typically look at using task level zero as our starting point for the project in the work breakdown structure. So since I don't have a tools options menu to go ahead and pick that anymore, that is now under Gantt chart tools. You can see that this is highlighted right now because I happen to be in a Gantt chart view down below. So if I click on the format tab, you'll see some great new features. One of those is to turn on the project summary task. That's something that we need to do. I'm just going to add some durations here. 
And the next thing that I'm going to do is, you know, I might actually, let me go ahead and just pick some, some dates here. Like that. Okay, so one of the things that you'll see up here at the top when I have this Gantt chart tool selected, remember before, if, you've, if you're familiar with this in project, you have to right click usually and you would say customize the toolbar, um, customize the Gantt chart, you'd have different options like that. Now what you have here is you actually have these quick styles. So here I can just go ahead and change the different colors of the Gantt chart. you can see we have different different options here. Now of course I can still go ahead and change the, this all with lots of granularity um, choosing the bar and the styles um, chase, you know showing critical tasks uh, things of that nature. So essentially I have all the same options as I did but it's laid out nicer and it allows me to very quickly pick some color schemes that might work a little bit better. One of the other interesting things about this new tabbed interface is what Microsoft refers to as the backstage. Now you're going to see this in every new Office application, Office 2010 application. There's going to be this thing up here that says File, and it's a special tab. You can see it's sort of highlighted differently. If I go ahead and click on that, you'll see that the entire project workspace is now overwritten by this screen. So this screen essentially allows me to do things like click on New, creating new projects, creating projects from templates, or even getting projects from uh, the office.com website. There's also a lot more granularity in the print. You can see here when I go to the print, it not only shows me the printer that I can pick, uh, how I want to export the information, but it shows me a live preview here. If you've ever gone through printing and previewing your projects before printing them in the past, you're really going to find this to be a time saver. You'll also notice, and this will be for a future video as well, but there's also the ability to sync with SharePoint. And I'll get into that a little bit more. There's a whole Microsoft Project Server component, but then there's also an easy way of saving that to SharePoint. And you might be happy to see here as well that you can just go ahead and create a PDF or a Microsoft XPS document as well. There are a lot more options as well. So if I click on Options, you'll see here that I can choose a background color scheme. I can choose the default views and do some of the things that I used to be able to do with the uh, tools options menu in the original version of, of Microsoft Project, any version before 2010 that is. I still have the ability to create my own views, so if I click on this view tab here, you can see I can go to the Gantt chart, I can go to a tracking Gantt, I can uh, go to task usage views, I still have all of these views but I can also create new views here as well. So if I, for example, click on other views, more views, I can click on new and create those new ones. Same thing as we did in the past, but again, more well organized based on the types of things that we want to do. If I go back here to the Gantt chart, the one last thing I want to show you, it's not really affected by the timeline view, but this is all part of the new fluent user interface that Microsoft refers to. Look down here at the bottom of the screen and you'll see that there's actually some icons with commonly used views. I clicked on the Gantt chart view to get back to that. Now you'll notice here on the Gantt chart view we've got this blue line that's going until January and we've got this red line that's going from January into February and I can't see that. In the past what we do is we'd right click, choose time scale, and modify these timescales until we can see it on the screen. There'd also see, be some plus minus uh, buttons with the viewer, but it wasn't too helpful and you had to do a lot of work to get that to work. Now if I bring my mouse down here to the bottom right, you can see what I can do is actually very quickly zoom in and zoom out of my project. And of course I still have this ability to move it around here with the scroll bar and get it just right so I can see the way I want it to look. This is also helpful when, we're, when I'm preparing to export this to a uh, graphic or print preview. So I hope this helped you in just learning a little bit about the new tabbed user interface, the fluent user interface inside of Microsoft Projects.